Connie, dinner's ready. Connie, please come down. Why is your room such a mess? Can't you keep it clean like your sister's? The only reason June keeps her room is because she's always out. June is a working adult. She can come and go as she pleases. God, it smells like hairspray in here. You shouldn't use so much. Now come on to dinner. Fine. Junebug made the potatoes, Connie. Aren't they wonderful? Great potatoes, June. How was work today, sweetie? Well, it was great. We finished filing the permits for the new playground. The girls from the office are going out later to celebrate. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Connie, I want you to eat all of your potatoes. Not five, Mom. I know that, sweetie, but you're just too worried about the way you look. No, Mom, I'm just not that hungry. Or you're too worried about how you look. I used to be just like you when I was your age. You really should learn from your sister. Focus on the important things. Beth wanted me to go see a movie with her tonight. What movie? She said we could choose when we got there. I can drive you if you want. No, she said her dad would take us. Can I go? Yeah, I guess as long as you won't be out all night. And will you please clean up dinner before you go? Fine. Someone decided to sleep in all day. There's some leftover pancakes for you if you're hungry. Don't forget, we have Antilles barbecue today. You should probably go get ready soon. We're leaving by two. Do I have to go? We're going as a family. I don't want to. You know what? Fine. You can stay home and do whatever you're going to do all day. I'm sick of arguing with you about every little thing. I ain't late, am I? Who the hell do you think you are? Told you I'd be out, didn't I? I don't even know who you are. You want to come for a ride? Don't you like my car? Your paint job. Hey. What? You're cute. Don't you believe me or what? Your car doesn't really have a new paint job, does it? It was a joke, sweetie. I got a few bumper stickers on the back side. Got one with my name on it, too. Arnold. That's me. Arnold Friend. You want to come see? No. Why not? Why should I? I thought you wanted to come see what was on the car. So? You want to go for a ride? I don't know. Why not? I got things to do. Like what? Things. <laughs> now, Connie, you're not telling me the truth. 
This is your day set aside for a ride with me, and you know it. How do you know what my name is? It's Connie. Maybe. Maybe not. I know my Connie. Ellie and I came out here especially for you. Ellie can sit in the back. How about it? Where? Where what? Where are we going? Just for a ride. I never said my name was Connie. But I know what it is. I know your name and all about you. All kinds of things. I took a special interest in you. Such a pretty girl. And found out all about you. Like I know your parents and sister are gone somewhere. And I know how long they're going to be gone. And I know who you were with last night. And your best friend's name is Beth. Right? Ellie can sit in the back. How'd you find out all that stuff? Tony Fitch, Nancy Pettinger, Peter Pettinger, Raymond Stanley, Bob Hutter. Do you know all those kids? I know everybody. You're kidding. You're not from around here. Sure. Well, how come we never saw you before? Sure you saw me. You just don't remember me. I think I'd remember you. Yeah? What you thinking about? Hmm? Not worried about your hair blowing around in the car, are you? No. You think I don't drive good? How do I know? <laughs> You're a hard girl to handle. How come? I'm just trying to be your friend. How old are you? That's a crazy thing to ask. I'm your age. Like hell you are. Maybe a little older. I'm 18. 18? Him, he's crazy. Isn't he wacky? He's a little weird. Hey! She says you're kind of weird. You two better go away. What? How come? We want to take you for a ride. It's Sunday. And sweetie, no matter who you were with last night, you're with our friend. Don't you forget it. No, I've, I've got things to do. Hey. You guys better go away. We're not leaving until you come with us. Like hell I am. I right, don't go messing around. I mean... I mean, don't mess around. No, your daddy's not coming home. How do you know that? Aunt Tilly's, right? They're all sitting around drinking. There's your sister in that blue dress, right? In high heels. That dumb bitch. She's nothing like you, sweetie. I like them the way you are, honey. Now here's what you're going to do. You're going to come out here, you're going to sit up front with me, and Ellie's going to sit in the back. The hell with Ellie, right? This isn't his date, you're my date. I'm yours, honey. What? You're insane! I'm yours! You don't know what that is, but you will. I know that too. You couldn't ask for nobody better than me, or more polite. I'll tell you how it is, I'm always nice at first. First time, I'll hold you so tight, you won't feel like you want to get away or pretend, because you know you can't. And you'll give in to me, and you'll love me. Shut up, you're psycho! People don't talk like that, you're insane! Honey, you still listening? 
Get the fuck out of here! Be nice, I'm, sweetie. I'm gonna call the cops. Here's how it is. Now, I always tell the truth, and I promise I won't come in that house after you. You fucking better not. I, I'm gonna call the police Babe, you... I'm not coming in there. But you're coming out here. Know why? You listening, sweetie? I'm gonna call the police. Because as soon as you touch that phone, I don't have to keep my promise, and I can come in there. Sweetie, it's just a door. It's just nothing. Anybody can break down a wooden door or a glass one, if he needs to. Especially me. Now, I don't mind a shy girl, but I don't like being messed around with. What do you want? I want you. What? Ever since the other night, I thought, that's the one. That's her. But my parents, my dad's coming back. He's coming to get me. No, your daddy is not coming home. Now you be a good girl. What are you gonna do? Just two things. Maybe three. But I promise it won't last long. And you like me just as good as you like your people. It's all over for you now. Come on out. You don't want them in any trouble, do you? You want me to go in there? Shut your fucking mouth and keep it shut. It's none of your business. What are you doing? What do you want? If I call the police, they'll arrest you. Promise was not to come in unless you touch that phone, and I'll keep that promise. You're crazy. Huh? What'd you say, sweetie? Now this is how it is. You come out here, and we'll drive away, and we'll have a nice ride. If you don't come out here, we're gonna wait till your people get home. And they are all going to get it. You don't want them in any trouble, do you? You want me to go in there? I told you to shut up, Ellie. Are you deaf? Do you need a hearing aid? This little girl is going to give me no trouble, so, Elliot, keep to yourself. This isn't your date. Don't mess around. Don't fuck with me. Don't bullshit me. Leave the phone alone, Connie. Good girl. Now come outside. Oh, honey, this house is nothing. So it looks solid, all right. But it's nothing but a cardboard box I can break down any time. Put your hand over your heart, sweetie. That feels solid too, but we know better. Now get up, honey, all by yourself. Now come right to me, honey. Now let's see a smile. You're a sweet, brave little girl. Mommy and Daddy and June are eating corn hamburgers and laughing because they don't know a damn thing about you and they never did. And sweetie, you're better than them because not one of them would ever do this for you. You're with our old friend now, sweetie. I'm yours, and you're mine.